Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about long-range warfare. Uh, finally, I was able to test it. Yesterday I had a war uh, with the same power of alliance. That's actually the time when you can check how your a strategy is working it's pretty useless whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players uh, as a tier 4 you won't gonna understand uh, your strengths and your weaknesses so finally i was able to test my build uh, we were fighting against the alliance called sip and as you can see we have a same kind of power uh, between two alliances which means uh, members of the both alliances has uh, same kind of tiers of troops and in general technology for wars uh, that's why it was pretty interesting uh, right now i was i i will uh, give you guys to see how is my build i'm purely marksman player it's my first season i'm uh, fighting with four legions as a zero spender uh, this is like gale of step because i always wanted to have more march speed on my legions because uh, that like positioning in the battlefield is the most important in my opinion uh, here it says one i understand the burning rage looks amazing even uh, for uh, marksman players but uh, like ranged units you can have like four to five ranged units together fighting uh, against enemies and 1.5 percent attack is great and of course the beauty of the whole season long-range warfare uh, like there, there was a lot of criticism regarding 15 percent less physical base attack but i'm mitigating it with a hertz as one uh, and also uh, we, we will check the policies you are getting additional uh, damage for the marksman in policies too and of course soon i will be able to have a suppressive five uh fire this is currently my build uh, for like uh, it's it's a moment of the season and while i'm fighting and also right now i will let you guys see what's my uh, fighting build of course uh, like in this end uh, like uh, pain is not a uh, fighter i'm just gathering i have nico and kinara i have walder and Wellin. i have uh, Sindrion and fregor and i have uh, tia and craig which means i have four range units uh, four range units like we are getting buffed together 1.5 percent also heart of kamasi is giving us additional buff which means like i understand mages are mainly for skill damage factor but in this case my walder and Welling is more auto attacker like normal attacker and i had a pretty good success i i was like all the time whenever i was asked about long range warfare i had no answer because i have not tried it by myself and yesterday it was a great moment uh simply because i was fighting against same power players and uh, it was like amazing opportunity for me to see how in general my build looks of course regarding artifacts uh, like i wish i had better artifact on my thea like another legendary marksman artifact uh, and of course, like uh, on Sindrion, it would be better to have uh, Gold Crest and maybe Heart of Gamasi on Thea. But currently, as a zero spender player, uh, this is my build, uh, which I was like trying to build my whole gaming, uh, like whenever I started playing Call of Dragons. And also, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we got in this season additional damage to every single type of unit, uh, maximum to. 10% uh, which means like long range warfare's damage mitigation is kind of a uh, tricky uh, debuff but you are getting more and more buffs throughout the other aspects of the game uh, that's why i think uh, like simply having much more range uh, like to fight against mage players especially uh, like more like most amount of players in this game are mages and like trust me if there was no like damage mitigation debuff on long range warfare like a lot of people would get mad uh, because most of the population of the game is playing mages and like it would be 100 percent counter uh, of, for the mages but even though i like even though here is 15 percent less base physical attack i believe still marksmen's are best range units in season ti and now what's most important uh, like we will check the reports which i got yesterday uh, by fighting and uh, like let's observe this is basically my 
uh, four range units, uh, Cinderion Fragar, Nico Gainara, uh, Walder and Welling, and Thea and Craig. Uh, like most legendary tokens I spent uh, in this game was like only legendary hero, which is Gainara. Other than that, every single one of them are like purely by gameplay, uh, organic way, like opening chests. And I got Cinderion from the season ending rewards. I got super lucky, it was a free draw. Uh, so, like 10,000 uh, merits on Strindion and Fragar, both of them are 5 1 1 1. Uh, Nico and Kinara, best uh, Legion I have currently in the game, and 90,000 merits, which is great. Uh, like, these people are tier 4, um, and I am tier 4 too, which means the fight is pretty fair. Uh, Walder and Welin, I have Awakened uh, Walder, of course, and Welin is like free to play Welin uh, uh, again. Only tier 4 against tier 4, I guess here I killed some builders, 70,000 merits. And the Thea and Craig, Craig is awakened, the Thea is free to play Thea, again uh, some uh, 10,000 merits out of this fight. Uh, and again, of course, like there was some mistakes uh, by my side when I overstepped, uh, that's why I have 9,000 uh, merits on my uh, Nico and Kinara, and 23,000 merits uh <clears throat> which is amazing for as like zero dollar spender player which like i'm going to be uh, in the future too uh 40,000 16 16 uh like the war was happening uh, like almost one and a half hours that's why there is not much uh, reports but whatever i have currently it already gives me uh, more and more motivation to continue with this game because i think for a free-to-play players, if your main motivation is to have as much fun as possible out of this game, you are going to have it, uh, like, for sure. Uh, like, this is the first season whenever we got, like, additional buffs and debuffs regarding Legion types, which I think developers of the game are not getting enough love, uh, simply because that's amazing addition, which gave game additional uh, fun, additional change. I'm not sure if it will stay. Uh, with us in the future seasons but even if it will be like one season uh, wonder like we need to give them the props because like i'm having so much fun uh, after that additional seasonal talents like additional quests uh, you can freely uh, reset it like it's super free to play friendly it gives you uh, different kind of play styles even if you are like mages and you are used to uh, using your skill mainly you can now go for normal attack and like this is a great change in the game, I, I tried it by myself, uh, yesterday I actually gained uh, 400k or even more merits out of that fight, You purely using long range warfare, so if you guys will have a question if it really works or not, you can check my past, uh, like yesterday's live session, and you will see by yourself how much time I was alive, how much damage I was doing, and in general how much merits I was getting. Like, uh, before I joined the war, I had 200k uh, merits, and now I have 7 to 2, right? And that's amazing amount for a free-to-play player. So, like, I will repeat one more time, what's my build? Uh, my build is uh, Gale Step, uh, Hertz as 1, uh, long-range warfare, I will go. With, I will be going for suppressive, attack, for suppressive fire, and after that I want to get the breaching strike, and of course I will reset it, I won't gonna choose anything here. Uh, my two main uh, trees will be battle uh, accuracy and engineering mastery simply because I love the uh, defense break on the breaching strike. Uh, the mid damage mitigation, if you will still have questions, 15% uh, less. I'm using four uh, ranged units. I am getting like four times 1.5 attack for ranged legions. Uh, after the addition of the policies we are getting 10% for every each kind of legion in the game um, like damage dealt which is also a big buff which we have not had in the past uh, and my uh, legions are uh, like simply purely free to play regions uh, because I'm not spending in this game uh, which is Nico and Kinara, Walder and Welin, Sindrion and Fregar, uh, and of course uh, Greg and Thea uh, all the legendary tokens I got in this game as a free-to-play player, I invested in Kinara and I'm lacking two levels until I will awaken. Um, like, I will even show you the heroes. So, like, this is the, my best legendary hero. I'm not, I'm kind of close, but not as much. Now, this is my best legion, of course. Nico is like free-to-play Nico. Walder is, of course, awakened. Uh, 
Dwellin is free to play Wellin. Skindrion, I got lucky, uh, 5111, uh, Freygar, 5111. Thea is, of course, free to play Thea, nothing spectacular. And, of course, uh, Craig is awakened, like already. It's pretty easy to awaken epic heroes. I have every single one of them besides, uh, like, 10, which are pretty close. This is my build. Uh, finally, I can honestly say that uh, this build works. Uh, you will have a lot of fun, especially if you are fighting against same power players like you. That's the main time whenever you are going to judge about your playstyle and about your uh, gameplay, whenever you are fighting on, like with the same opponent as you. If you are fighting against tier 5s, everything will be bad for you. You are not going to deal a damage, you will die quickly and you won't gonna have it generally fun. This game can be played as a free-to-play player, as you can see, you don't even have Lilia, uh, my power is low because I have a uh, full hospital here, but this is my main gameplay, I want you to guys show that how, like even as a free-to-play players, uh, you will be able to have some fun in this game. Uh, my decision is that uh, long-range warfare works, especially if you are a ranged player and in general, uh, like free-to-play players should be arranged players that's why i'm making this video i hope you are enjoying the content i'm always trying to be as informative as possible also live streams whenever there is some words so if you like the content uh, press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to continue minecraft uh, thanks for watching i hope you are you're gonna have an amazing day uh, bye bye i'm gonna see you very very soon